Okay, so let's say you're working on your uh, Honda Civic. This will work for like a 92 through 2000. And uh, you come to the point where you're like, I want to do that performance upgrade, get a nicer radiator. Usually you're dealing with your traditional aftermarket radiator or even like the OEM ones. They have a plastic on the ends and this is a single core. And then uh, you start investigating out and you find out you can get an all aluminum and dual core radiator for relatively cheap, oftentimes cheaper than going down to AutoZone and getting with the what they're calling for. Get these off of eBay, pretty good price. Um, they'll all market it and say off of eBay that they'll fit in the in your D series engines. Problem is, is these are really meant for the B series, like the Acura Integra engines and stuff like that. And where you run into the problem is, is on the necks. The original necks are only 28 millimeters, and uh, on the newer, nicer radiators, they're 32 millimeters. So what you'll need to do if you want to keep your OEM hoses, you run into the problem is your hose no longer will fit the newer Luneman radiator. So today what we're going to do is uh, give you a solution fix for that. What you want to do is uh, on the bottom of the radiator you got these two posts and these are going to fit in these grommets down here. And these come off so you want to make sure you get them off your old radiator and put them in. If you have trouble with those sticking to anything you can hit them with some silicon spray and that'll help out a lot. So I'm not going to worry about lining them up. I'm just going to at least to hit one of them so I'll just hold them in place. So you just drop your radiator in. Now I got my fan off already. That's what these little side screws are is for your fan. And you can see that here on the old radiator. They just bolt on right there. You just take a um, socket there and those will come right off. And it is easier as you can see without the fan on there to deal with this. Um, once you get it in place, you're up against uh, getting these hoses on. That's where your adapter comes in that I made, had made for me. Um, you can just get these parts at uh, AutoZone. You just get a 32 millimeter. They're calling it an inch and a quarter, and you get inner diameter. They'll cut that for you. I got two inches here. That slide on here. Then you put your coupler that I got going here, and then that'll allow you to drop it down to 28 millimeters, which is your OEM hose size. So, I was looking at this, you're probably going to want to trim these ends off a little bit. And that'll allow you to sit these on there, and then you can use your clamps. Um, on this end, you can just use the clamps that came with your car. And that'll get you hooked up right there. You got your top hose. And then you got your bottom hose. The bottom hose is going to be the same setup. You're going to have your uh, band clamps. That'll just drop on down here. Right down there. And then you can... Uh, you got a lot more play in here, so you might not need to trim it. I'm probably going to trim mine, uh, drop that in there. These are two inches, so um, your radiator neck size is going to be however your manufacturer made your radiator neck size. So also on this top clamp here, um, on mine, mine sat lower. I also had some front end damage, so I'm not 100% sure my height is right on. All I had to do is flip mine over if you got that issue. And that'll bolt up right nicely there. Originally, it uh, sits high, but in my case, it doesn't. So that's one nice thing about this because it's L-shaped. You can adjust that to the height you need there, and that should work for you just fine. And so once you get those hoses on, then you're just dealing with uh, your overflow tube. Here, I'll get that for you. you. Just bolt on your fan, drop your overflow tube on there. This goes over to here. And you're pretty much done. So on the top hose, what you want to do is you want to shoot some silicon spray on there. That'll help that hose go on nice and smooth. And you just get that on there. See how nice, well that went on really easy. And then you get yourself your uh, wrench there, air pliers. Give that a squeeze, drop it in place, and you're done. That's the back hose on your uh, uh, water outlet or inlet. Or it's called there and you're done with that side next you get to work on this end all right so when we're dealing with this end a uh, radiator end what you want to do is uh, spray some silicon spray we're going to do the 28 millimeter in side first there Put some spray on there that'll allow you to get this on here there you go go ahead and set that on there okay so after you get your uh, 28 millimeter end on you're working on your 32 millimeter end Gonna hit that with some silicon and then just drop this in here. That's a nice fit there. 
just going to put the band clamp on, get it in place, and then we're going to fire some silicone on here. I'm going to put the second one on, which is a little tight. Let me grab this other one. There we go. Then again, you're going to hit this with some silicone. And that'll do as well. There you go. Okay, I want to show you. Once you get this all assembled, you just get yourself some pliers, squeeze this on there. Don't get your fingers caught in there. And then you can just release that, and then you're secure there. On these, if you place the this on this end, what you can do is you can rotate them down and then access it from this side here. Just tighten it up and then you get a nice clean look. And uh, you can use a flathead screwdriver to get a little socket, socket set up like that. And then you're pretty much done with this end of it. So on the bottom, you're going to do the same setup. Just get your, your adapter, hook it all together, silicon spray if you need it pop it on there and then bring your uh, hose clamp on there you got a lot more play on the bottom one so it's kind of optional for cutting it I think I would probably still cut off two inches off the bottom hose there get a nicer feel for it but you probably could get away without cutting anything kind of like the final step you're I'm pretty much done at this point is just to hook up your overflow bottle and then uh, just uh, hook on your uh, overflow tubing there also uh, you know now is a good time to put on your fan don't forget to put on your fan of course you got your uh, electrical connector on that, hook that up, and then you're pretty much done with the job. Uh, then you got to deal with uh, putting your coolant back in. So now when you get your uh, dual core all aluminum and radiator for your D series engine for off of eBay and you realize, oh this is really for a B series, which I didn't tell you. Uh, now you have the nods and the ability to use your adapters to get this hooked up and you can still use your original OEM hoses and now you can get the job done. Hopefully this video helps somebody out out there and if uh, you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe you'll get more videos as they come out. Thank you for watching.